The Central New York sports community is mourning the loss of Cornell lacrosse legend Richie Moran. He died this weekend at the age of 85. Absolute legend in the sport, and as people go, he's one of the kindest you'd ever have met. News Channel Line Sports Director Stephen Fonte, and now Steve. Boy, Coach Moran left quite a legacy behind, didn't he? He really did, Jeff. He, he left behind quite the legacy at Cornell, and honestly, he left a lasting imprint on the sport of lacrosse in general. He did it all during his coaching career, guiding the Big Red program from 1969 to 1997. His resume is very impressive. It includes three national titles, three more runner-up finishes, three National Coach of the Year awards, and a silver medal at the World Games with Team USA, just to name a few of his achievements. Moran was was inducted into the U.S. Lacrosse Hall of Fame in 1983. He went on to stay closely connected with Cornell Lacrosse even after his retirement. The current leader of the Big Red promised us today that Richie Moran's legacy very much lives on with the program today and always. I don't think those shoes will ever be filled. Uh, again, fortunate to have him around and, and to use him as a sounding board for as long as I did. Um, but, you know, I don't think there's ever going to be another Richie Moran. I think he's, you know, uh, he's so unique in, in the way he went about his business and the personality that he had and, and just the uh, the way he lit up any room that he went into. Um, and that's all before you get into, you know, what a great lacrosse mind he was, uh, that I, I don't think there is, you know, replacing a, a Richie Moran. Richie Miranda survives by his wife Pat and their three children. Next hour, we'll hear the thoughts from another legend. Roy Simmons Jr. remembers his good friend. That's on the way at 620 in News Channel 9 Sports.